so lesson five now okay welcome back now football last uh, lesson we did dribbling now today we're going to work on passing so it's just a different part of football that we need to learn especially when you're playing with teammates and friends okay so passing very important now as always i hope at the end you have your pen and paper ready Rel. we know that okay and now you need to go and get this equipment all right so look football obviously we're going to use a football if you don't have a football any kind of ball preferably maybe a little bigger one okay it must be kind of bigger than a tennis ball now i'm going to use my cones like i did last lesson but you can use anything as long as you can put something on top of it to be knocked off for a game we're going to do later okay and then the things that i'm going to use to try and knock off are tennis balls okay but you can use different balls you could use crisp packets you could use literally anything that you can knock off all right so there are things we need for our lesson okay once you've gone and got all of that then press play again so press pause now and then we'll get back to it okay okay so warm up for lesson five all right we're going to actually go back to lesson four and think about those ball skills that we did all right today we're focusing on passing but we're going to go back and recap those dribbling skills that we did last time all right so you should all have a ball now so we're ready okay ready to go and all we're going to do to start is do sole taps now you did a game of captains come in sole taps is where you use the sole of your foot and you use it to tap on top of the ball so look watch me so look you've got to see if you can tap your sole on top of the ball okay now some of you might find it hard and you might kind of start off like this but when you can start trying to hop from foot to foot so when i say sole tap look we're tapping our sole on the ball and the ball isn't moving very far okay if it does it's fine bring it back and then you carry on all right and freezer perfect so there are sole taps okay now when you scrub the deck remember you were doing this action now these in football are called toe taps okay because we're using our big toe to tap the ball back and forth so let's show me your toe taps who can remember this one so look toe taps who can keep the ball nice and controlled like this if it does go away it's fine bring it back and off you go again so look we've got sole taps which are these and when i say toe taps we go back to these okay when i say freeze foot on the ball all right so we're just going to do those two to start with ready so sole taps here we go so sole taps use your sole tap the top of the ball okay remember it's slow if you want or if you can go really quick try and speed up okay and toe taps now it's our big toe okay who can do this who can remember this okay keep going keep going keep going so toe taps toe taps toe taps and back to our soul so now back to this let the soul top of the ball okay keep going as fast as you can if you're finding it hard go a bit slower that's fine not a problem and freeze perfect okay now last lesson you would have learned a drag back okay now for those that may not remember okay a drag back is where you use the sole of your foot to spin the ball back the other way okay so look from this angle watch me watch so look my sole is on the top of the ball and i flick it behind me okay so now when i say drag back you're going to go forward a bit you're going to drag it back you're going to go forward a bit you're going to drag it back so you look like this okay until i say something different or freeze okay so freeze there so we've got three things now okay we've got sole taps toe taps and drag back all right right we're going to start with our drag back once i've done my lace up okay make sure your lace is done you know i don't want to fall it over all right ready and drag back so here we go so dribble a bit drag back here we go dribble a bit drag back dribble a bit drag back dribble a bit drag back use your sole every time ready and right and sole taps here we go 
back to our soul now. Now if your drag back ends up facing the wrong way, make sure you turn around to start your soul taps or toe taps or whatever we're doing, okay? And toe taps, here we go. Back to these now. Keep moving as fast as you can. I'm starting to sweat a bit now, which is good. It means we're working hard. Okay, ready? And drag back. So look, little touches, drag. Use that soul. Little touches, drag. Use that soul. Every time. Good. Who can go even quicker? Little touches, drag. Little touches, drag. Little touches, drag. And freeze. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to add one more. Okay. This time we're going to use our outside of the foot. Okay which is this part where our little toe is. And look, we're gonna flick it back the other way. So I'm only using my outside of my foot the whole time, okay? So look, we've got outside, we've got drag back, we've got sole taps, and we've got toe taps. There are four, okay? Right, have 10 seconds to take a breath, and we're gonna go, okay? We're gonna Make it quite hard this one. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and outside. So look, outside your foot only. Look at the part of the foot I'm using. Outside only. So a few steps, back the other way. A few steps, back the other way. Every time. If you wanted to, you could set some cones up. So when you go for the cone, then you can turn around. Yeah, that could be kind of marker for you. So outside, outside, and drag back. So now remember this time, dribble with any part of your foot, but you must drag it back with your son. Okay, brilliant. Keep going. Well done. Keep going. Keep dragging. Well done. Brilliant. And back into toe taps. Come on, push the last 30 seconds. Push, 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 keep going. Where can we go? Come on, keep going. Can you go as quick as me still? Who's sweating? Who's working hard? Keep going. Ready? And soul taps. Here we go. Last 10. Ready? 10. Work hard. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready. Well done, guys. Now, have a drink, press pause. When we get to the next slide, it'll be our next part of our lesson. So well done boys and girls, brilliant. Okay, so done our warm up, brilliant. Now we're gonna get onto our passing lesson, all right? Now, when we're passing a football, it's very important because we would do it to try and pass it to a friend or a teammate, okay? And if your pass isn't very good, it might be that they don't get the ball, okay? So when we're passing, okay, the first thing we want to learn before we start doing it is where we place our other foot. So if I'm passing with my right foot, I'm gonna use the inside here, okay? So when I pass, I use my inside. Now, my other foot has a job also, okay? I can't have it in front like this, okay? I don't really want it too far back because then I'm gonna to stretch to pass the ball. I wanna try and plant it next to the ball like this. So when I pass, it's really easy for me. Okay, so look, and my knees, okay, they're not stiff, they're quite like spongy. So look, I can pass like this, all right? So when we pass, try and remember those things, okay? Now, I've set up two cones, okay, one cone over here and one cone over here. And between them, I've gone for one, two, three, four, five, pretty big steps, okay? But you can do it as you want. If it's too hard, make it smaller. If it's too easy, make it bigger. Now, fall next to the cone, and all I'm going to try and do is pass it as close to the other cone as I can. So watch me, so that foot next to the ball, okay? Now I'm going to swing it back a bit like a golf club and see if I can land it near the cone. Now, not too close, not too far away, all right? And how we're going to score it is where the ball lands, you're going to see how many feet are between the ball and the cone. So there's two. So the lower the score, the better, because we don't want any feet between the ball, okay, and the cone. So watch me. So ready, practice again. So foot by the ball, okay, spongy knees. You can see if you can pass it near the cone. 
Well, nearly. Now, that was a bit better than my last one, I reckon. I reckon that was only about one. So look, ready? So look, one foot. So that's a better score than two, because the lower the better, all right? So at the moment, I've got a score of three, all right? And we're going to have five goes, so I've got three more. So look, foot by the wall. Okay, ready? Spun your knees. Okay, let's see if I can get closer this time, okay? Here we go. So ready? So back and forth. Oh. Okay, I think that was a little bit too far that time. That's not very good for me. All right, so look, one, two, three that time. So I've gone further away. So now I'm on six points, all right? And remember, the lower the better. Two more goes, okay? Ready, watch me. So foot next to the ball, okay? Look at the cone. Remember, back and forth. Oh, a little bit short again. Can't get it right today, okay? If you're finding it hard, like I am, Okay, you might put the cones nearer together. Okay, but I'm gonna challenge myself and keep it where it is. All right, so ready? So I've got one more go. Okay, so ready? Foot next to the ball, sponge your knees, back and ball. Okay, that was so much better. Okay, I even hit the cone, okay, which is really good. And it's only gone, well, less than a foot past it. All right, so that was my best one that I finished with. Okay, so count up your points, all right? And then if you want to try it again, press pause and try and beat your score. If not, we're going to move on to our next bit, okay? So now your challenge is we're going to do it one more time, but you're going to use your left foot, so your or your right foot. So whatever foot you use first, use the other one then. So mine would be my left. So look, now it's the opposite foot next to the ball, and then I'm going to pass and see if I can get it close. Now, I'm even better with my left foot by the looks of it, which shouldn't make sense, but there you go. So zero points for that, which is what we want. Okay, so ready? Same again. So I put my right foot next to the ball. I'm gonna pass, okay. Oh, pretty good, okay. Probably about one, I reckon. What do we reckon, ready? Yeah, one, so I'm on one point after two, which is really good in this game, okay. So same again, right foot by the ball, left foot pass. Oh, it's pretty good again. Now, at the moment, it looks like my left foot is a lot better than my right foot, okay? Which is good. If you can use both feet, it makes you twice as good, okay? Because you can go one way or the other, all right? But there will be one foot that you're better with, all right? So, ready? So, look. Foot by the ball. Pass. Now, gone down here a bit. That's probably my worst one so far. That was awful, okay? So, if it's gone left, one, two, three. Four, that's far too far away. But as I say, it doesn't matter, we're just practicing. Ready? Here we go. Better. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, really good. All right, one more go. Okay, so our fifth one. Remember to count up your scores, the lower the better. Ready? Last go. Now we know I've got a bit of the hill now, so I reckon it's light like that. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. All right, it's not even a foot. Okay. So, there's your left foot, okay? Count your scores up, all right? And remember, same again, if you wanna press pause and keep practicing it, do it now or maybe do it later, perfect. Okay, but we're gonna move on, all right? Now, to work on our passing, you're gonna get four of your cones or whatever you're using, okay? And you're gonna make a square. So, I'm gonna make the square about here, I reckon, so look square as big as you want the smaller the harder okay it's going to be so i'm going to make a you know a pretty good size square and then with my other cone marker i'm going to use it at the back because that's where i'm going to pass from okay so look the same thing we've been doing but you've got to try and land it in our square all right okay now i've got a slight hill i think so i'm going to slightly aim it differently but if you're flat you want to be aiming as straight as you can all right so look Remember, spongy knees, foot next to the ball, the other foot, I'm gonna try and land it in my square. Let's see if it makes it. Now, if it's on the edge, I'm gonna say one point. If you get it in the middle and it goes here, or anywhere around here where it's not on the edge, okay, you're gonna get two. And if you get it on the outside, you get zero, okay? So it's up to you, okay? So let ready, go back. Okay, you're gonna have five goes. At the moment, I'm on one point because I got it on the edge. So look, foot next to the ball, okay? 
think about how hard you want to hit the ball. Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's see if we can get it this time. Perfect, there we go. There's two points, all right? So I'm on three all together. So you might dribble your ball back, you might pick it up, up to you. Okay, just remember, look, if you pass it too soft all the time, okay, you need to hit it harder. If you're hitting it past the square, then you definitely need to slow it down a bit, okay? Take some power, okay? I know some of you are very, very strong, okay? So ready, watch. So I've got three points, okay? Here's another one, ready? Number four, three, three, ready? Could be good, it might roll out though. Oh, it's on the edge, so I only get a point for that one. So I'm now on four. So ready, remember, get your ball, go back, you might dribble back, see what will go, okay? I'm actually going to try it with my left foot, this one. Okay, I'm going to mix it up a bit, make it a little bit tougher. Same for you guys, if you want to challenge yourself, maybe move the target back or use your other foot. All right, so ready? Same again, foot next to the ball and pass. Okay. Ooh. okay, I'd say that's pretty much in the middle. So I get two points for that one. So now I've got lots of points, all right? I'm now on six, okay? So one more go, all right? And then you're going to count your score up. So look, I'm going to go back to my right foot. Okay, see if I can get another two points. Ready? So foot by the ball and play. Perfect. Okay, so on the edge that time. So I'm only going to give myself one point. All right. So I got seven in total, which I think is a pretty good score. I'm very, very happy with that. All right. If you can beat my score, amazing. Okay, if you can't, doesn't matter. You're trying to beat your own score. All right. So again, press pause if you want to carry on with that because it's quite a good game it's quite hard but you can make it harder or easier last game okay get your free targets put them together like this so look, i've got one two three one can go away you go over there okay and you're going to get the things that you want to knock off so look i'm going to use tennis balls like this maybe you can use anything you want all right now save with the target we're going to go back all right, perfect. And I'm gonna see if you can knock them up. All right, so watch this, look. So that cone down, ball there, and you're gonna try and play it off the cone. All right, so watch. Okay, ready? So one, two, three, pass. Can I knock the ball off? Oh, it weren't hard enough, okay? So at the moment, I'm passing the ball and it's clearly not hard enough to knock the ball off. So it might be that I up my power a little bit. So I might bring my foot further back, okay? So ready, here we go again. So ready, foot by the ball, and a bit more power. Oh, less power, oh, rubbish, oh, so bad. Okay, right, we're gonna, I'm gonna power it up now. Okay, I'm gonna power it up, try and make it harder, okay? Right, let's see if I can knock it off. Okay, perfect, ready, and, oh, how has that not gone off? Can't believe that, thanks mum. Okay, perfect. Right, we're back again. Let's see if I can get it this time. Okay, I've got to knock these off. Ready? Bit more power. How has it gone over? How has it done that? Oh, I can't believe it. My mum's got more power than I do. Okay, right, ready? Right, we might go again. Come on, Rob. Get one off. Oh, sorry. Nightmare. Okay, if you're struggling like me, okay, it might be that you move the target slightly closer but uh, you know what i believe in myself and i'm gonna move it back okay so here we go again right come on i've got to get this one ready go even <laughs> it's just not happening it's not happening okay right this is it now at the moment I'm really struggling, so I'm going to move it close a little bit, alright? So watch this, okay? Let's see if I can get it now. Ready? Oh, so close. So, so close. Now, I think I've had quite a few goes, alright? I want you to, when you do this, I want you to time it. I need to time it and see how quick you can knock them over. So at the moment, it looks like I'm going to be here for the rest of the day, okay? I'm going to keep trying, all right, because that's what we do, okay? We do that down then we keep trying. All right, so watch. This time, I've definitely got it. Come on! Get in. Okay, now we're going to go again. I'm on a roll now. 
Watch this. Look. Number two. Bang. Bang. There you go. Look. Now number three. Watch this. Look. Oh. No. Man. Okay, last one. I'm going to give myself one more go. All right? And then I want you guys to carry on with it. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Oh. It's the hill. I'm telling you. It's this hill. What a man. What a shot. Okay? Perfect. Now, keep on going with that. It might be that you add more targets. It might be that you put further away, closer, press pause, keep going with it. Okay, brilliant. Let's get on to our questions. Okay, so that's our lesson for today. But seriously, carry on with it. Keep trying it because you only get better by practicing more. Okay, that was really fun. Okay, now questions as always. All right. Our first question is going to be from the passing that we did. Okay. So when we pass the ball, where do we want our other foot? Okay, so not the one that we're using to kick the ball, our other foot. All right, so that's question one. Okay, number two. Okay, when we were passing into the square, can you tell me how many points you got for getting it inside the square, outside the square, and in line with the square? Okay, so there are three different points you could have got. Okay, last question is more of a challenge, okay? I want you to get your carer, your parent, whoever's watching over you, okay? And I want you to show them this game with the three tennis balls that I've got, and I want you to play against them. See if you can beat them. Now, parents, don't go too easy, because these guys will be pretty good by now, all right? Now, brilliant today. Okay, lesson five's done. Okay, lesson six will be the week after. Really, really good. Stay safe. Well done, boys and girls.